All right, Shalom, Shalom, Kahalayam La, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors, much peace, love, and salutations to all the brothers doing his work and truth to sincerity. Shalom, this is Brother Batak back again through the Spirit with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying. Um, right now I'm recording on my headset, so Lord willing you can hear me real good. I did a, ran a couple tests to make sure it sounds pretty good. Just hope it's, you know, capturing everything. And my microphone is on, so without further ado, let's get right into the lesson. You know, I was just watching a video about, you know, the World War Three thermonuclear war that's coming, that's pending upon this world. And, you know, Esau being destroyed out of power. So, Lord willing, I'm going to just get a couple precepts concerning the destruction and uh, the coming era, that's the, the change that's coming upon the earth. Esau is going to go into slavery and. This captivity is finna this captivity is finna be relinquished. We're finna be released from this place. This is the, the book of Malachi, chapter four, verse one. It says, For for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Now I was just watching a video concerning the uh, news on NBC saying that you know Russia has maybe like a hundred thousand troops built up on the border of Ukraine. You know, these are the uh, the signs of war. You know, the war drums are being beaten, man. And we just patiently waiting for, you know, a couple more prophecies to be fulfilled. And one of the major prophecies that's going to be fulfilled is war between America, Russia, China, um, and the European Union and, and NATO nations. And also uh, Russia's allies, which um, China is one of Russia's allies. Um, and a couple, Iran is one of uh, Russia's allies. These and um, also can't can't forget about Israel. They play a key a, a key factor in this third world war too. So this is going to be the third world war between the NATO, U.S., our Israel, and NATO, Russia, China, and Iran, and it's going to be the end of Esau's age. It's going to be a a a, a war. That's going to be fought with fire. It says, I'm going to start again from the top. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Why? Because this is destruction from the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, This is destruction for Esau. Who's the proud? It's talking about the so-called white man. He's the one that's proud. He's the one that has done all of these things to the nation of Israel. And thinks he's, he thinks he's going to get away scot-free. You know, the scripture says the Lord will not acquit the wicked. That means he's not going to he's not going to let you go free. He's not going to just give you a get out of jail free card or, you know, you don't got to go into slavery. You good. You get a you get a pass. These devil. No, nah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it don't work like that with the Lord. Because the just the Lord is just in everything he do. And when he execute judgment upon Esau, he's going to be just in doing that, man. You know, he's going to be balanced. It's, it's going to be a righteous thing. It says, um, and all that in the day, in the day that cometh shall burn them up, said Yahweh of hosts, because the Lord is the Lord of the Lord of the armies. Yahweh by Shem is the Lord of the armies. He's the one that's gathering these troops up in the Midwest and causing them to come up against each other, man. You know, the scripture says what the Lord is a man of war. I'm going to get that in uh, Exodus. Let me finish this real quick. It says, said, yeah, that it shall lead them to the root nor branch. So it's going to really destroy the foundations of Esau's structure. And everything is going to be completely wiped out. Because this is the judgment of Yahweh. This is the judgment of the Lord. This is um, Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. It says, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. So the Lord, is the, he's a man of war. He's the reason why things are the way they are in the earth right now because how yeah, was kingdom needs to be established and Esau's time is running out you know let me get that real quick Revelation 12 and 12 it says Revelation 12 and 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them right we should be in a joyous state we should be rejoicing because the time is coming where the Lord is finna judge this land and we finna get recompensed for all of the things that have been done to us. So rejoice ye heavens. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. 
and to the sea and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time so esau's time is very short he has to he wants to accomplish his nwo you know he wants to maintain humanity under 500 million he wants to you know put uh, R I R F I M O T B C C H I P S in people, man. That's a part of his agenda, and he wants to accomplish that. But the Lord is not going to allow this devil to perform his enterprise, man. <clears throat> so lock it. We'll get that real quick. Job chapter five verse twelve. I love the book of Job. Job chapter five verse twelve. It says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. He disappointed, it says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. And who is that? Who is that referring to? That's referring to the so-called white man. He's the one that's been taking crafty counsel against our people. The scriptures tell you that in um, Psalms 83. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. This is a crafty devil, man. You know, he find he's always constantly trying to find ways to, you know, destroy, kill, and deal with our people in a wicked manner. And this is why one of the reasons why he has to go down. This is why he has to go through slavery. And you know, the Lord got to do something about this man. It says, so that their hands cannot perform the perform their enterprise. So the Lord is going to disappoint this devil. He's going to be disappointed. The Lord is going to cast him down because he's not going to be able to do what he wants to do. The Lord is going to put, put him down. The Lord is going to intervene. He's not going to be able to accomplish his will. No? You know, it says, it's lucky. It says, verse 13, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counselor forward is carried headlong. He says, he taketh the crafty in their own craftiness, man. All of the devices that these devils trying to come up with to come against our people. The Lord is going to turn it against them. Because they're not going to be able to accomplish it, man. They meet with they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. And that's what we we counting on. Who we counting on to deliver us? Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's what we counting on. You know, we put our faith wholeheartedly and trusting in the Lord because who else can we trust in man this devil is going to come down unto us and there's nobody going to be able to intervene nobody's going to be able to stop them but Lord but the Lord that's why we put our trust in how about Shemel Shai man you know we got to put our trust in the Lord he's the only person that's going to you know be there for us when this devil come down so the day that's coming it's going to be like this. So I can go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this war, that, this, this last war, the end of all wars, is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. Because America is going to be destroyed by fire. Thermonuclear fire. It's this war, this third world's war, is gonna be fought with missiles, man. It's gonna be a quick, smooth, quick destruction, man. It's gonna be very quick, cause it only takes a, 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 a um, thermonuclear missile, a war, a, a ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile. It only takes it roughly like 30 minutes to to reach America, you know. And once those missiles reach America, they're going to destroy it. Which is the power. The power is in the warheads, man. The power is in the warheads. So the, the destruction is going to be quick. Ain't no, ain't gonna be, you ain't going to be able to escape. This is Isaiah 66, verse 15. It says, For behold, Yahweh will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by his fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the slain of the Lord of Yahweh is going to be many. The Lord is going to destroy this place. 
via thermonuclear missiles, man. And it's going to be a very, very, very beautiful thing, you know. So, um, with that, man, I'm going um, I'm to have to make a part two of this lesson because I have to um, do something real quick. So, with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Shemir, I was shot by Shemir, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles, to the elders of Great Millstone. Most peace, love, and salutation to the brothers from His work and truth to sincerity. Shalom. It's going to be a part two to this lesson. Shalom.